<laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, deadlifts. Is Haley your workout program? Yeah. Uh, she's your uh, partner. 10 famous celebrities who actually dated their fans. Dating can be a complicated thing, and it's even more complicated as a big celebrity. As you'd assume, most people would know who you are and you could never quite be sure of their motives. But there are some times where you meet someone and hit it off instantly. And in some of those cases, random people got a chance with stars that they have idolized their whole lives. Today, we are going to be talking about the top 10 famous celebrities who actually dated their fans. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Mania. Make sure you stay until number one, as you don't want to miss out on the most amazing dating stories of some of your favorite celebs. Number 10. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes Very few women get the chance to marry the movie actor they had a crush on during their teens. But that was exactly what happened to lucky Katie Holmes. She grew up watching Tom Cruise in hit films including Top Gun, Days of Thunder, Cocktail, and the Mission Impossible series of films. The young actress met Cruz in 2005, and they soon began dating, and their daughter Siri was born the following year. The couple married in November 2006, but their marriage was over by 2012. While this was the first marriage for Holmes, it was Cruz's third marriage. He was married to Mimi Rogers between 1987 and 1990, and then to Nicole Kidman from 1990 to 2001. He has two adopted children from his marriage to Kidman. Number 9. Elvis and Priscilla Presley Elvis Presley was one of the best-known performers in the world and was the cultural icon of the 20th century. The talented singer, musician, and actor had women throwing themselves at him wherever he went and could have chosen to date any of them. However, it was his fan Priscilla Ann Wagner who won his heart. She was just 14 when they first met at a party in 1959. He was already a famous singer, and she was a schoolgirl. Initially, her parents banned her from having a relationship with the star, and he was reported to date Nancy Sinatra at the time. The couple eventually married in 1967 and had a daughter, Lisa Marie, together. They eventually divorced in 1973. Elvis Presley died of a heart attack on August 16, 1977, although there had been controversy surrounding his death. Number 8. Billy Joe Armstrong and Adrian Nesser Billy Joe Armstrong is the lead vocalist and guitarist of the punk rock band Green Day, which was formed in 1986. While touring with his band, he had plenty of opportunities to take his pick of women and to date women who also worked in the entertainment industry. However, he ended up dating one of his fans. Green Day's frontman and occasional Broadway star doesn't just have a passion for music. He's also devoted to his wife of 25 years, Adrienne Nesser. And while many musicians wind up romancing models or other celebrities, Armstrong met his completely not famous wife the old-fashioned way, backstage at a concert. Though Armstrong called the wedding an impulsive move, he credits his long-term relationship with helping him navigate the chaotic aspects of life on the road. Today, Armstrong and Nesser have two children. Number 7. Steve Harvey and Marjorie Bridges Comedian and Family Feud host Steve Harvey first saw his future wife in the front row of a 1990 Memphis comedy show, where he was performing. The two briefly dated, but it wouldn't be until they reconnected in 2005 that Marjorie Bridges and Steve got serious. They married two years later and have been happily wed ever since. Number 6. Nicolas Cage and Alice Kim Cage met his future wife when she was waitressing at a local restaurant and he was a big Hollywood star. Alice was only 19 at the time, but a 20-year age difference didn't stop them. Cage knew that the age gap would cause a stir, but his only priority was to earn the acceptance of Alice's family. The two exchanged phone numbers and were married in 2004. They have one son named Cal l In 2007, Alice had tried her hand at acting, appearing in three films, Next, Werewolf Wen of the SS, and Grindhouse. But she seemed to prefer a life that was out of the view from the public. She and Cage raised their son in a guard-gated suburb of Las Vegas. In 2016, after 12 years of marriage, Cage announced his separation from Alice. It was by far the longest relationship he had ever had. Number 5. Julia Roberts and Danny Modere Julia Roberts met Danny Modere while shooting The Mexican. He was a cameraman, and she was starring in the film. The actress was dating actor Benjamin Bratt at that time. Although Modere was married at that time, the two quickly fell in love. As soon as Bratt caught wind of his girlfriend cheating on him, Julia Roberts and he had a very nasty breakup. According to reports, although Julia Roberts always claimed that she walked out of their relationship because Bratt wasn't ready to settle down, the truth was that Bratt wanted to settle down and have children with the actress, but she reportedly refused. Things didn't end well for Modere either. His wife, Vera, filed for divorce after she found out about his extramarital affair with Julia Roberts. Modere filed for divorce and a short time later, in 2002, married Julia Roberts. They have two children together and have been happily married ever since. Although the couple had a rocky start to their relationship, 
They seem to be happy and content with their marriage. Number 4. Christian Bale and C.B. Blazik Bale wasn't planning on getting married until he met Winona Ryder's personal assistant and changed his mind. Christian Bale is one of the hottest stars in Hollywood and has worked with many beautiful actresses. He is best known for his roles in three of the Batman movies, American Psycho, The Machinist, and The Empire of the Sun. The woman he chose to marry was not an actress, and nor did she work in any kind of entertainment. C.B. Blazik was a personal assistant to Winona Ryder, who was a personal friend of Christian Bale's. It was through Ryder that the two met. As soon as they locked eyes, they knew it was meant to be. Even though Bale was not wanting to get married at that time, Blazik changed his mind and they married in 2003. They have a daughter, Emmeline, and a son, Joseph. The family lives together in Los Angeles. Number 3. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West Kanye was a huge fan of Kim Kardashian before they began dating. Kanye West had a crush on Kim Kardashian the moment he met her back in 2004, when she was working as Brandy's assistant, and his crush only intensified when he saw pictures of her in 2006 vacationing with Paris. For several more years, he crushed on her, and he even tried to get her to break off her engagement to Chris Humphreys. While he was not successful breaking her and Humphreys up before their wedding, the marriage quickly fizzled out and after that, West finally got his chance with Kim. They got married in a lavish Italian wedding and have four kids named North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. Number 2. Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin Haley and Justin first met in 2009 at NBC's Today Show, after being introduced by her dad, Stephen Baldwin. Haley and her father also posed with Justin at the premiere of the singer's 2011 movie, Justin Bieber Never Say Never, and fans have unearthed old tweets from Haley that were about Justin. A much younger Haley tweeted about the star waiting in a throng of fans to catch a glimpse of him outside her hotel, and eventually succeeded in meeting him, thanks to her famous dad, Stephen Baldwin. The Intention singer even joked about her crush on him in 2019, posting a photo of the model on his Instagram story. The two stars dated non-exclusively for a few years, and got married in 2018 at a courthouse and had a formal ceremony the following year. Number 1. Anne Hathaway with Adam Schulman Anne met her producer husband in 2008 through a mutual friend. As it turned out, Adam Schulman was already a huge fan, and who wouldn't be? Ask Anne Hathaway about the moment she met her now husband, and she will be quick to tell you that the timing was terrible. She had just gone through a very public breakup that shook her at her core, and jeopardized her ability to trust. She was looking forward to being single and taking time to heal. Then Adam Schulman walked into her life. The producer and jewelry designer sparked such strong feelings in Anne that she was willing to put her broken heart on the line. Their connection was so strong, in fact, that it gave the Oscar-winning actress the courage to do something seriously bold. They married in 2012 and have a child together. They had an undeniable chemistry and soon they became inseparable. Here's an interesting bit of trivia. Did you know that Adam Schulman is Shakespeare's doppelganger? On top of this, Shakespeare's wife's name was Anne Hathaway too. History always finds a way to repeat itself. Which celebrity couple is your favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button to get the latest updates on our videos. And also don't forget to hit the like button and share this video if you really liked it. And while you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.